The Democrats gather in Denver to nominate Barack Obama as their presidential candidate. But the multi-million dollar extravaganza overshadows major crises around the world. Blinded by Obama, next on Global Pulse. A comparison of how broadcasters worldwide are covering the Democratic National Convention. From the towering podium to the choreographed speeches, international coverage of the Democrats' big show wasn't much different from what you saw in the US. From Germany's Deutsche Welle to China's CCTV and to the BBC, the story and the spin sounded the same. They want this to be the greatest political show on earth. It is, in all but name, a coronation for Barack Obama. Clinton's challenge was to convince the 18 million people who voted for her during the primaries that the bitterness of the spring primary season is over. Michelle Obama delivered a speech that highlighted the values shared by her family. But outside of Denver, the world inched closer to chaos. Al Jazeera, CCTV and Russia Today bucked extensive coverage of the Democrats in favor of events that would have an impact long after the convention. A unanimous vote in both houses of parliament paves the way for Russia to become the first country to recognize South Ossetia's and Abkhazia's independence. Change in relations between Russia and NATO are growing in strength. NATO vessels are in the Black Sea to provide humanitarian aid for Georgia and give a helping hand. Russia sees it more like a fist. News also from Pakistan, former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has pulled his group out of the ruling coalition, blaming the Pakistan People's Party for breaking promises. He says the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz has now been forced to quit as a result. The UN says it's found evidence that 60 children were among those killed in the western Herat province. It claims that 15 women and 15 unarmed men also died. The UN's figures differ greatly from the US's version of events. But everything wasn't completely lost. Some media groups tried to connect the convention to world events. Iran's press TV questioned Barack Obama's peace credentials, while the BBC brought up the conflict between Russia and Georgia. If Barack Obama were president today, how would he handle the Russia crisis? I think he would convene the Security Council and immediately try to get a resolution condemning the aggression, warning Russia if they continue on this path, there are going to be even dire, more dire consequences. But the perception amongst the American public in opinion polls so far is that Barack Obama is not tough enough on this issue that John McCain is. Well, what I think people should be focusing on and will be focusing on is the history of his judgment. I think most Americans now recognize that our decision to go into Iraq was a terrible mistake. But we're now ready to go to Denver where close to 10,000 people have held anti-war protests calling on U.S. Democratic presidential hopeful Barack Obama to maintain his anti-war policy. I think that um, a true anti-war peace candidate would be calling for bringing our troops home from Iraq and Afghanistan, no war on Iran. He's been very militaristic about Pakistan and this Georgia-Russian. So, you know, he is not a peace candidate. South Korea's KBS found a link between another brewing crisis and the Democratic Convention. It questioned the timing of North Korea's decision to suspend its denuclearization program. North Korea condemned the U.S. for not taking it off the terror list, even though it already handed over its nuclear report in June to the U.S. It is interesting that North Korea is taking a hardline stance while the U.S. Democratic National Convention is going on and Chinese President Hu Juntao is visiting South Korea. The U.S. presidential election is getting serious, so North Korea is trying to draw attention to the nuclear issue in an effort to benefit from it. So why is America so mesmerized by the convention razzle-dazzle when other major events are changing the world? Russia today got a blunt assessment from Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. Well, as far as I know, usually during the elections in the United States of America, the voters are quite indifferent to what is happening abroad. Each of the candidates is spinning the situation for themselves. But if one of the candidates manages to use this question, well, then Godspeed, as they say. For Global Pulse, I'm Erin Coker. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs.
programs which connect you to the world.